Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Investment Mindset. Today, let us talk about last Friday close, that is 17 November, Bursa top 3 gainers and one top Bursa loser, technical analysis. First, let us start with Day 3 Digital Berhad. Bearing ticker, Day 3. Day 3 belongs under consumer services subsector, it manages both voice and non voice communication channels such as calls, email, chat messaging, social media platform, AI powered chat box, and in app interactions to engage with the customers. As we could see from its short lived live chart, this stock just newly IPO'd way back in uh, 26 July this year. It made a high of 73 cents on its IPO date before retracing down to close back at 62.5 cents and its price has since on the downward spirals ever since to make a low of uh, 30.5 cents before it retraced back up to close at 33.5 cents. Last Friday, the stock made a surge of 9.88% to close at 44.5 Cents. Now, by looking at the short-lived chart, we could see that this stock may still have its final upsurge to push up to the next resistance level at around 46 cents before it would be maxed with its resistance level. And why do I say that? Look at how this is also the level when this stock first broke down. So it should have a lot of supply at this level. And why do I think that it still has a final push up left in the stock? Just look at the, how the candle closed on last Friday. It is showing no sign of selling at all from its closing price. So, if you are currently having a position on this stock, you may want to look at locking in profit at around this 46 cents resistance level. Upon hitting its resistance at around 46 cents, this, this stock would either come back down to find support at around 41 cents and if it's able to hold at this level and consolidate, this means that this stock may still want to go up further. Now let us come to the top second versus top gainer, that is Awan Biru Technology Berhad, bearing stock ticker Awan Tech 5204. Awan Tech belongs to digital services subsector. It has evolved from being Malaysia's largest ICT software and training service for provider to a leading technology and talent services platform innovator. Now, let us look at the chart. We could see that Awan Tech stock crashed down hard on the 17th of August this year. To open at uh, 17 cents and meet a low of 16.5 cents before closing back at 17.5 cents. That's a whopping 56.25 declined. Ouch, that's painful. But we could also see that this stock has since made a surge back all the way up to close on last Friday at 34 cents. But it is still lagged behind the previous closing price of 40 cents. As such, looking at this chart pattern, I want to technically may still want to continue its search to move up to the first resistance level at around 37 to 38 cents and finally to close up the gap above at around 40 cents. This gap would serve as a very strong level of resistance. Why? Because it would be met up with lots of supply. Those back holders who held onto this stock since 16th of August this year would be dying to sell off should this stock price went back up to around 40 cents. So for me, if I want to get into this stock, I would want to do a deep dive into its fundamental analysis to find out its intrinsic value. I wouldn't be comfortable buying into this stock just by basing on the chart pattern. Though the pattern is showing a bias to the upside, but I would also want to be careful that a one tech may be releasing its earning somewhere early of December this year. Usually I wouldn't want to start any new position into any stock with its earning with its next earning release date to be so nearby unless if the funnel analysis of the stock is showing me that this stock is undervalued. With effect from this month, that is September this year, there will only be a total of two levels of membership. That is, Bursa Trade Membership and US Stock Trades Membership. By joining under the Bursa Trade Membership, this will allow you to get access to all my current open positions on Bursa Stocks and my new buy and sell trades live only at Ringgit Malaysia, $50 per month.
if you are also investing into the US stock market and are keen to know which US stock I am trading, then you are most welcome to join the level two membership that is US stock trades membership, where you will get to see not only my existing US stock open positions, but also my subsequent new buy and sell US stock trades. And on top of that, you will also get free access to all my personal trades as well. And you get to enjoy all these perks at only a mere ringgit Malaysia, 100 per month. Anytime, if you think you no longer need this membership service, you can always cancel the membership service easily at the YouTube membership tab. Next, we come to the final personal top gainer stock that is Run Hill Utilities per heart bearing ticker Run Hill. This stock belongs to utility sector. The company's services include water supply services providing source to tap water in Johor water and wastewater treatment providing water and industrial wastewater treatment technologies. It also owns and operates 290 MV combined cycle gas turbine power plants in Sabah. Looking at its daily chart, Radio stock has been making a rally since uh, November this year, 1st of November this year, despite having making a surge of about of about 68.59%, this stock is still not showing any signs of exhaustion. Instead, what I see is that it is doing consolidation in order to move up higher. If I plan to get into this trade to ride on its second wave up, I would want to wait for it to retrace down to somewhere 70, 79 cents. This is also the level where I first break out over here on the November 6th this year. So as long as Rand Hill stock is able to consolidate and hold the, this level of around 79 cents, then the momentum for the second wave up is there and the next resistance would be met at around 104 1 ringgit 04 to around 1 ringgit 06 in order to make a double top over here if you're really keen to get into a position into rental stock for medium holding instead of just a swing trade then you may want to run an in-depth fundamental analysis on it in order to uncover its intrinsic value. Now we have come to the final part of this video, which is the technical analysis for top losers of Bursa stock, that is Red Tone. Red Tone belongs to telecommunications service providers. Red Tone stock price crashed down to on recent Friday to close at 70 cents, from previous day down from previous day close at 78 cents. That is 10.26% decline in one day. And it is due to its September quarter earnings numbers to come in less favorable. This reinforces my playbook of not getting into a new position into any stock prior to its earnings release. Usually if a stock crash due to bad earnings, I would not want to step in to buy so soon in order to avoid catching a deadly falling knife. Instead, let the market do its own thing. Let it fall and see when it would start to consolidate. When it consolidate means the candle would get smaller and smaller and moving sideways. Just like how we see it over here. The candle getting smaller and smaller and moving sideways. This shows that the stock has stopped falling and is making a consolidation either to the downside or to the upside. Red Tone stock has got a strong support level at around 58 cents. So if you already have an existing position in this stock, it's either you sell it now or you may want to conduct a fundamental analysis to find out its true intrinsic value so that you could determine if this stock is worth holding on now at this current price or otherwise. This is the end of my sharing for today's video. If you like the content of my video, do smash onto the like button to let me know. Thank you and I shall see you again in my next video.